In this episode of Loops FX, I'm going to show you how to become a house DJ within 4 hours. Shana players and welcome to another episode of Loops FX. My name is Bergwall or Bible as I pronounce in Sweden and today I'm going to show you how to become a house DJ within 4 hours. I have a 4 hour program that could help you become the house DJ that you always wanted to be. So stick along, let's do this. But before we begin, I must remind you to click the subscribe button and if you want to get updated, please click the bell icon as well. Yes, I know I'm sticking my neck out there when I label this episode how to become a house DJ in 4 hours. But let's face it, mixing house music isn't that hard. Most of the house tracks are between 124 and 130 BPM beats per minute, meaning how fast the tempo of the tracks are, and 80% are 128 BPM precise, the most predictable tempo ever. If you have a house track that is perfectly aligned in 128 BPM and another house track with exactly the same measurements, it's not rocket science to get them working nice together. All you have to do is hit that play button in perfect time and keep one ear to the beat and make small adjustments if the tempo is drifting. And too many of you house DJs out there pride yourself mixing house. You might wanna test other genres like reggaeton or make a tempo change from 125 to 105 BPM in 32 beats live with both records up to test if you really are that good of a DJ. Sync button or not. I have nothing against house, I love it. In 1988 I started the first real house club in south of Sweden, perhaps the first real house club in whole of Sweden. However, when you follow this course saying you will become a house DJ after 4 hours, it doesn't guarantee that you will be ready mentally. It's a whole other ball game mixing at home and mixing at a club or a party. Just having people around you listening to when you're mixing makes every beginner or most Mona DJs nervous. If not, you might be a zombie. <coughs> to be a successful DJ, 4 hours is not enough, rather 4 years. And you got to have several things going for you before you start. Buy a controller that got a high secondhand value, because if you lose interest or doesn't succeed in the way you want, you might want to sell the equipment. The choice of USB pen drives, USB sticks or a computer as a musical source is totally up to you. I used pen drives for years, but when I tested mixing with the computer, I discovered all the fun things I could do. All the more things I could do. My first year with the computer, I grow more as a DJ than I have done the 10 previous year without. So let's roll up our sleeves and get busy for 4 hours, even though this episode is shorter than that. But before I start, I would like to show you a little something. I just redone my webpage and I'm inviting you to go and see it. The address is ima.dj. Of course it is. We take two tracks that have the same BPM, 125, and no sync and no tempo reset so we can use the tempo faders. Same thing on deck 2, 125 BPM. Click on the cue points or the cue to make sure that it starts at the first beat, or where you want it to be. In this case, the track on deck 2 is going in on the track on deck 1, and you always work with the track going in. This is called the jog wheel, and it's very essential. You can slow down or speed up the track to make it aligned to the beat on the track on deck 1. As you can see there are a perfect grid for your fingers. So the first hour of this course we focus on getting the tempo of the tracks aligned with each other. We press play and wait for the right moment on the other track and press play. Here we go. It's not perfect but we speed it up a little or slow it down, can you hear the difference? Where it is, can you feel it? Yes, we're getting there, we're getting there. Up and down the beat. Yes. Perfect. The track on deck 2 is going in on deck 1. Let's do this again, but let's be loose on, on the play button so the, the track is drifting off from the beginning.
this is not correct but we can hear that this has to be speed up to be aligned now it's not going skakada boom skakada boom anymore it's going boom 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 yes good now we take a track that is, that is one bpm uh, higher than uh, the track on deck one so the new track is uh, 126 bpm is one bpm more so now we have to work with the tempo fader or the pitch fader or, w or whatever you like to call it so we have to work with the um, with the jog wheel and the tempo fader at the same time Yes, we can hear it speeding up. So we have to slow down and slow down the tempo fader at the same time. So, when we do it too much, we have to speed it up again. M millimeters, millimeters. So, can you feel it? Can you hear the difference? It's small, small adjustments, and you can hear the the beats going up and down, going ka ka boom, ka ka boom. When I do this, you can hear it. You hear the difference between this and when the beat is aligned. Don't be alarmed if you're not finding the BPM, the, the alignment, the first time you're doing this. This is the first hour of the, uh, the full hour tutorial. And uh, the first hour is just getting... Oh. The first hour is just getting into uh, the play. was written well, I was not listening this is what you do uh, all the time when you gig you you fix a beat and you it's perfectly aligned but a minute later or something like that it's um, it's uh, drifting away so where shall you mix the track you hear it's a boom and a ta. boom ta. It's here as well. Because here, boom ta. In this case, there is a boom in, in the, the first beat, but it's it's boom ta always boom ta, boom ta. Uh, the boom is the kick drum, and the ta is the snare drum. You can hear it. And the boom is always going on the boom, and the ta is is always going on the ta. And you start with the first beat and not on the second beat like this then you got ta 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 and that's not s sounding very good it's not professional everybody hates that so you have to uh, start over find the beat find the, the one on the one the boom on the boom the kick on the kick and adjust the beat as, as we go going along This is what you hear in your headphones, but when you're doing this at home, when you start up, uh, do it with the speakers on instead, so you don't have to focus on the, on the headphones as well. So, this is first hour. <coughs> focus on this, and do this for the rest of the first hour, then we go on to the second hour. And the second hour is the face of the tracks. What is the track build up on? And as you can see on this waveform, as a something bluish in the beginning is getting more power, more reddish, and, and there's some kind of a break, a break again. And you can see uh, that the waveform is uh, going down, and here is uh, going up again, a lot of red, and so on and so forth. And yes, you can see that is 
the, this is the structure of the song. This is the vo verse, the chorus, the bridge, the bre uh, drop, the breakdown, the intro, the uh, outro, everything. And the building stones are the 4x4 four four beats. Everything uh, you hear is divided by 4, almost anything. So if you start by counting everything, count to the, f to the first uh, thing that happens. Let's, let's do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And just when I was supposed to say 9, something happened. Let's hear it again. Can you hear it? It was the there's a symbol marking the beat. And before that, hear it. Yes, the new phase is always introducing itself, and the old phase is more or less welcoming the the new phase and in this case it was a fill and then a, and a symbol and here is a symbol as well and you can hear that the beat is uh, the energy of the beat is going down leading into something it's building up it's building up building up building up and here there is the same uh, symbol again and the almost the same feel boom booga booga boom and, and the, the, there was a voice saying something uh, as we have here this is the intro this is a kind, some kind of a build up and this track uses the symbol to mark a new face uh, not all tracks do that and here is the outro of the track uh, it's the normal place or the common place or the easier place to m to mix out the track to mix in the new track but you can m mix in the track uh, new track wherever you like and as you can hear there was a, a symbol at the beginning of that phase as well listen the same feeling and that leads us into our three and four. Our three and four is just practicing finding the faces, the intros and the outros, where to mix them and mix it away on the right one, uh, the right beat number one on the deck two going in from the deck one going out. And I suggest you repeat it uh, four times with every track you do. Uh, roll back and do it again, do it again, do it again for four times and then skip to the next, next track. So you uh, really start to um, get uh, acquainted with the tracks. And repeating something you know is good uh, muscle memory as well. It has to be in the fingers, not in your head, not in your toes and your feet. And and uh, that uh, last uh, fade uh, concludes this lesson in four hours. And I, I beg your pardon, uh, mixing and talking <laughs> at the same time wasn't that easy. And the microphone was uh, slipping away, so uh, I had to deal with that as well. But practice, practice, practice. And uh, if you do this these four hours over and over again, uh, you might be p more prepared than you think. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this episode, and if you liked it, please click the subscribe button. If you got a request for a tutorial, or got a product that you want me to test and review, please send an email to hello at loopsfx.com. See you next time.